Many of us know Chuck Colson's story, how God reached down and changed this man's life. This man who was brilliant, talented, gifted, found himself in the White House in his 30s, and yet suffered from the thing that we all suffer with, sin. And God changed his life through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Chuck spent the rest of his life proclaiming that same gospel to others, especially in the prisons around the world. Chuck's faith was deeply personal, but it wasn't private. And there's a difference. See, Chuck knew Jesus Christ personally, but he believed that Jesus Christ was the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He was the creator and sustainer of all things. In other words, Christianity wasn't just true for him. Christianity was true. It was the true vision of reality. And Christians had a responsibility to stand for truth wherever they found themselves, in their families, in their communities, in their nations, in their societies. And that led Chuck to become one of the great voices for Christianity in the public square of our generation. He was known for his great breakpoint commentaries in which he brought and just made sense about cultural issues and cultural events from a Christian worldview. He was known as a great speaker, a great writer of terrific books that helped Christians understand their faith and how it applied to the world. Books like How Now Shall We Live in the Faith and the Body. Chuck's no longer with us, but the vision that Chuck instilled in us has to carry on. We stand on Chuck's shoulders. We advance the mission of Christian worldview and cultural renewal in this time and in this place for the glory of God. I am convinced that Chuck's vision still matters for this time and in this place, for this cultural moment in which we live. But we can't do this alone. We need your help. And as we close down 2015 and look towards 2016, we want to start on a strong financial foundation. Would you consider joining us as a partner in this work?